today I wanted to talk to everybody about the tantric practice which our world is now embracing and as you may know if you've been googling and, and quite interested in this field that there are quite a few teachers and quite a few lineages of tantra so I felt today would be a good time the first of May uh, in this very nourishing time of autumn uh, in Australia and it's also the energies of Taurus which are very grounding and very earthly. So Tantra, why do people feel drawn to Tantra and what is it? Tantra really is the accompaniment of all aspects of self and when I say that if you have ever done a yoga class you know that it's a quite a physical yet spiritual practice and if you're naturally drawn to other healing modalities like uh, energy work you'll be aware that we have subtle bodies and we have auric fields and uh, our anatomy is actually quite diverse we're not just this physical body with genitals which in terms of tantric sexuality become engorged and we flourish when our sexual energy rises so the element of healing and having an awareness around sexual energy really stems from understanding our anatomy from the energetic and subtle bodies and then the other layers pretend to our spiritual evolution and not everybody really understands that particular element so I just wanted to be bringing that to you from my perspective today given that I've been teaching the last few months around the mysticism and the uh, history of Tantra because what the practice really underpins is our need to connect back with Source and Source in terms of our human condition has often become the journey that man undertakes to seek the Holy Grail if you like and the Holy Grail is the embodiment of all aspects of being human in terms of our physical acknowledging the energy because the source comes through our breath and we are functioning and thinking and feeling so that brings me into the spiritual meaning of, of Tantra is man seeking to know why he is, is here and what his purpose is and I have come into this area of expertise if you like because I have expertly failed in every area in my early years and as an adult I've gained a great deal of wisdom from tearing myself out of the physical and disengaging from the emotional with relationships and then uh, detaching from the mental aspect of thinking through meditation and bringing it all back into this place where I can embody and get a sense of what my true purpose is was to come back to the source and realize that in my deepest darkest hours it all did make sense when source could connect back into me because I was open so Tantra is an opening of all of these elements within our human self to connect back up into the universal energies which leads me into mentioning that when we talk about the lineage of Tantra it's about understanding that the mysticism and our seeking out of um, understanding really aligns us with purpose. Why are we here as individuals? Why do I feel the need to speak to you today? And why is this my path? Because that's where I feel whole. That's where I encompass all of my life experience. And 
my depth of connection to my, my body. I feel my passion. I feel the journey. I have felt the failure. I have felt the pain. And I have been able to encompass it in a way that serves me and opens me up to another realm that gives me more understanding of why I'm here. So in terms of relationships, which is where people are curious about Tantra because they're looking at the way they relate to one another in the world. So for a lot of people, then Tantra becomes a more fascinating journey when they're looking at how they can connect more intimately with another person. And that's where in the Western world, we've looked at tantric sex as being more taboo and yet carrying on towards a more open-minded experimentation, if you like, in how to encompass a more sexual, sensual, connected, intimate life. And yet it's really so much more simpler it's about being able to surrender to all of the facets of being a human and allowing our experiences to be embellished in a way that serve us and nourish us. And that's where the basic principles are really about keeping that awareness open, allowing these experiences to become uh, integrated and at the same time keeping our hearts open. And that's the catch and that's the hardest part of course because to feel connected with another being, to allow ourselves to have a depth and richness of intimacy and to allow the sexual energy flow through us and allow a more deeper connection intimately with another being, another person, man or woman, uh, or even self, self-pleasuring is about knowing our own bodies and um, our sense of safety and connection with the source, whatever that may be. It's not religious. And that's why more and more people are coming back to this practice and, and taking themselves out of their comfort zones and, and extrapolating all of their own beliefs and, and sense of meaning of the world and coming back to what they believe within and what resonates within their heart. So in essence, for me, being a teacher of this practice is an absolute privilege because I'm simply here to hold the space and guide people into some darker places if that's what they need to still extrapolate their reason for being, if they need to still feel why that anger, rage or fear has more hold over their passion than joyfulness, sex and love. Because being more intimate and passionate about our lives really does ask us to look at every part of ourselves and be comfortable in that. And even as I sit here really relearning to be comfortable in the public realm, because for me as a private person, practicing and living this way often means that to walk my talk and show my students the way forward it also means that uh, I constantly challenge myself on showing up and talking about what it means to be tantric and why it's valuable to begin the studies and learning and understanding the real history and philosophy behind the, uh, the sacred art of connecting more deeply as a human. And I'll leave it there. If you want to know anything more or if you're curious about where to start, I do run a certificate in Tantric Practice with the Uranus Institute. And it's also part of a, a bigger diploma in Tantra and sacred intimacy. It's around sacred sexuality and body work, about how to connect to another human in a very compassionate, empathic way to help them come into their bodies and connect with their energy source and own their sexuality, how to work with trauma, how to hold the space with people who are very uncomfortable with their bodies. 
So again, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, because it is such a big journey encompassing all aspects of the mental, physical, spiritual, energetic and emotional bodies, to really step into that sacred space of uh, holding for another person and um, naming it as a tantric way of life means we need to encompass all of these aspects within ourselves. So I'm very passionate about this path and uh, I hope you are too.